Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. My name is Timmy. Hello top four fan guys and fan girls. I just got a request from a subscriber from this channel um, to make a video in which I show or I, I give you my best feedback when it comes down how to organize a server for events, big events like Eternal Land and SVS. Yeah. So um, before we start, just a quick uh, review on this one. <clears throat> Now, if we compare SVS to Eternal Land, now Eternal Land is a longer event and also on top you have a big advantage, like if you park properly your base, you won't get attacked, so you have much more possibilities. So that being said, let's reduce everything down to SVS. No? Now, this just come, came from a subscriber called Thanos or Thanos. This is not the guy which snapped the finger fingers in Avenger, in Avenger uh, Infinity War. Um, this is a very good player. So that being said, let's jump uh, directly right into the uh, recommendation. So uh, first of all, I want to add for whom, for which person this video is. Yeah, we have two types of uh, players here in each games, basically. Uh, there are people like which wanna be leaders, yeah? And there are people which are leaders. <laughs> so this video is actually only, sadly, only for the people which are actually leaders and understand truly and follow truly this goal that the server um, wants a very good performance when it comes down to these big events, which are server versus server events. So um, now if we, go here and see first my server. Now I played on a few servers and uh, right about now I'm on server 835. Yeah, this server, it's for me personally, I, I don't make any commercials here for them or something like that. It's But it's the definition of a perfect server. This is not a massive server, but this is not a small server. This is simply perfect. We have a lot of people uh, which are higher than me, but most important is the character of one person, which is basically, they are very, very nice and lovely people. Um, I don't have a single complaint in, in a few months, I'm still playing here and I see no reason to stack my uh, <clears throat> transfer tickets. So that being said, um, let's jump directly to the first point. So how do you organize your, um, your event? <clears throat> so that being said, you have to imagine an alliance has 150, 170 players. And uh, yeah, in EL is like what, 240? So there is not a single normal human being on earth which is able to actually keep track of 170 players, see their strengths, see what's the best um, abilities they have uh, in order to give them the perfect job. The perfect job is to give them an assignment which you know there's a high chance he, he can succeed. So this is very important. That being said, <clears throat> what we do here on, uh, on server 835 and on very ma on many, many servers, we have to break down. Yeah, we have to break down the responsibility. I have a very, very good experience with low and free to play players because these kind of players, uh, because they don't have the money to spend, they are forced kind of um, into compensate this. So they are compensating very well in, in, in trying to understand better the game, trying to organize and trying to help. So these mostly uh, are very, very good people and you can really trust them if they have really the motivation. So that being said, for the, um, sorry for that NTV thing there. Uh, that being said, you have to break down uh, the responsibilities. So if we look here, you're gonna need a, a, a channel. You're gonna need a channel. Uh, we have team one here. And this is uh, actually by accident, the server leader, which is uh, Mr. Nasa. But if we look here, we have no more than 55 players. So why is this important? So when you organize your server, um, you must get a certain amount of players which are dedicated indeed to, to organize the server in order to, to, to be more precise, to be more exact, to be more efficient. So um, from my point of view, you have to break down this, um, 
the server into groups. No? <clears throat> so you can do indeed an in-game group, like you see it right here we have. Um, and this is a team. Yeah, we have more teams. Um, so you need that. And this basically, we all report to him if we have problems and so on. This helps really a lot to break down from 170 players down to 55 players. Um, another good advantage is, is that we have a, um, um, a game uh, chat. But this is not the only thing you need to have. So that, let's jump to the second point of this video, the second most important thing. Sadly, um, depending on the amount of people which are actually participating in an event, you're gonna experience uh, you're gonna experience lag, and if you do that, that means if even if you're in alliance chat and you're gonna see okay what's happening right here, somebody get attacked, somebody won, somebody lost, this data is at one point a few minutes uh, behind. So therefore, you need actually a Discord channel, and you really need that one. Uh, now many of your players or of your members are gonna tell you the the, the first sentence. But I don't want to talk in the in uh, Discord, and this is not this is not the problem. The problem they should be able to listen, yeah, because you have to react very fast to 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 certain changes uh, in game. 